Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I have a project coming up that I need a tenoning jig for. It's not actually to cut tenons, but it does exactly the same thing. So I'm going to knock up a quick one for the table saw. All the walls for the workshop are clad with 18mm MDF. So I've got quite a few scraps left, so I'm going to try and use most of them up on this. So the design is just going to run along the existing fence. It's going to have one tall side and then just really boxed in so it slides along it. You'll see what I'm going to use this for on Wednesday. With these bits cut you can see how it's going to work. Two bits either side of the fence and then one on top. I want a way to be able to clamp work pieces to it, so I'm going to cut a slot along the tall bit using a router and a dovetail bit. These clamps you see in shot work with my Festool rails and also in the dog holes of the bench, but they'll also work in this slot. You'll see later on how it works. Before making this, I watched a few videos on how other people have done it, and Keith Brown from Rag and Bone Brown did one, so I'm basically just completely ripping him off. And one of the cool things he did was put a bit of masking tape inside this so when you put it together you can then take the tape off and everything will slide nicely and won't be too tight. I thought that was a very clever idea so I'm just doing exactly the same. I got some wood glue on the parts and then got some clamps in place to hold everything secure while I drilled some pilot holes. Then I can get the whole thing screwed together. With all the screws in place, the clamps can come off and then these bits of tape can be removed. And then test it on the fence. It slots over and then it slides forwards and backwards with no problem whatsoever. So now this jig that goes on the fence needs a fence of its own. I'm just gluing on another bit of MDF that's going to be at 90 degrees. one screw in at the base and then I can get it butted up to the square and get another screw in, making sure that it's at the perfect 90 degrees to the base of the saw. One last thing is find another little small scrap and add it here. Now not the nicest looking bit but it's just going to give me something to hold on to while I push it through the table saw. It's going to keep my hand behind the fence and away from the blade. So that's it all done. Wednesday you'll see how it all works. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.